He always does. Pausing them to have to clean up. So I, I grabbed a towel and started wiping the catch up. Emma, we can hear you. Um, <laughs> wow. Good afternoon, everybody. There's a lot of people on this screen this afternoon. And uh, welcome. Welcome. I don't welcome. know if I'm recording. I'm hoping I'm recording, right? Uh, to another version, and we're just getting started in this discussion, called Pep Talk Tuesday. I don't know how we came up with this name, you guys, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> and uh, again, the goal for us today, and we've got an amazing group of broker support right in front of me here on the screen that are just anxious, can't even stand themselves right now because they're ready to share <laughs> with us everything that they know of that needs to be said today, right? about keeping encouragement going. As I love to say, keeping the grind, we gotta keep grinding, right? Even though uh, the topic of today is all about changing markets, right? Our strategies, well, how do we thrive in a market like this? And uh, again, it's good that I've got the team of professionals here to kind of give their insight as to uh, what they've been doing. What, what is it guys and gals, I'll say gals, um, that we need to be doing right now uh, above all else to stay very, very focused on what's happening in our changing market. I don't know who wants to kick this off. Cindy, you're, you're anxious, you're nodding. I can tell you got a lot to say. Excited. All right, no. so tell us what's on your mind. Well, I, I think the most important part is to um, stay positive and to make those connections and don't overthink it. You're with people, there's people everywhere. And you can connect with people no matter where you go. You go outside your house, you've got neighbors, you've got all that. And uh, you can talk and interact and um, make a list if you have to. But really what you do now is what's gonna, um, it, I call it planting seeds for the okay. future. Well, that's, so, that's great. And I, and I heard you say, Kim, before we kind of got started today, you know, you, we were saying something about seizing the day, right? Showing up, being present. Tell us what you meant by that. So, you know, right now we're in a changing market and I believe our mindset will affect others because we're leading the way. So I think our mindset is important how we see it. Um, and also that this too is going to change. It's going to balance. So it's real simple, stay present, keep showing up, keep connecting, go to those 4th of July parties. Hey, the good news is you get to be at the beach or That's by the pool I mean. or with family or, and so just keep connecting. Uh, one of the things that we did in training today was I popped questions onto the agents. Hey, Nate, um, Mr. Realtor, you're real estate, right? What's going on in the market? Yep. Answer yep. the question. And, and be, be willing to be their pro who they're going to go to as this does change. And when the questions come up, have those answers, right? Yep. But don't go in with your realtor badge. Just go in and bless people and be there and be fun. But those questions are going to come up. But just number one, keep connecting. Absolutely. Boy, you couldn't have said that any better. And isn't it amazing how easy it is to get into real estate conversations nowadays, right? Yes. And everybody knows you're the pro. So yep. everybody wants to know what's what's going on in the world of real estate. So yep. Tracy, Tracy, you've got a lot of a lot of insight in this world. Tell us what's tell us what's going on right now in, in, in what you're telling people. Yeah, I like what you said, because you don't have to show up and be somebody that you're not. Or you don't have to figure out how to talk about real estate with your friends when you show up for a 4th of July gathering. I mean, what a perfect timing to be going into the summer month and then, then have this seat at a table um, with family and friends at lots of opportunities over holiday weekends. So, but when you show up, you don't have to figure out how to bring real estate into the conversation. It usually happens organically on its own. So, you know, I think most of what we're talking about right now is just mindset. And I think I hear Kim say that word more than anybody, but it is a mindset. You need to be mindful about what's going on around you. We're, we're talking about maybe some kind of a shift. We don't know what it looks like. I can tell you that I had a listing this weekend that felt a little bit different. Uh -huh. um, actually two, one, we had one offer on. The other, my team had, we ended up having eight offers, but didn't have that many showings, but still had eight great offers. That tells me that there's 
less buyers out there, but the ones that are hanging around are more qualified. So if you happen to be one of these agents that's been running a buyer around for a really long time and you're writing really good offers, I think you're going to have an opportunity to win because there's less people co competing. Last week, we've been working with a buyer for two years and an agent called and said, look, if you can write us an offer at asking price, you can win. Now, my buyer chose not to buy, but that told me that there wasn't 15 offers. There wasn't 10. There was only one. So I think things are changing. And I think our mindset has to be pay attention to what's happening, read what's out there, but stay engaged every single day. I mean, Michelle Lipka, I see that you're on here. I know that we've chatted um, before about different things happening. I know you have business going on, but I'm sure that you're doing the same thing that we're doing because we're selling agents as well. We're, we're talking about interacting with our clients and finding ways to do that. And I'm sure that you are as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and you use you use Michelle as an example, and I get the, the privilege of having coffee with her a lot in Muskegon, mm -hmm. and she adds so much to our conversation around a number of these things that we're talking about right now. I mean, the whole idea of being proactive, I mean, my goodness, that, that's got to be in the forefront of all of our minds, right? Mm -hmm. So even if business feels like it's a little bit uh, lethargic, things are slowing down a little bit, we got to stay mindful right? Of those things that we know work. And mm -hmm. again, you got to be in that moment. And some of the things that you guys have shared with me so far. Um, yeah, perfect time. We're coming up on a holiday, right? Mm -hmm. Holiday gatherings, an opportunity to get together. And again, it's that, Tracy, it's the thing that I hear you say a lot, connect, connect, connect. And we, we can't do that enough, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's always go back to the basics. When things change, whether it's COVID, interest rates, um, appraisal gaps, whatever it is, always go back to your basics. You can never go wrong with that. And, and keep adjusting, stay flexible. Um, I'm asking questions like, okay, what do you do now? Now we're, I look today in GCAR, we had, I quit counting at 31 new listings today. And I didn't even count how many price reduced price reductions. Wow. So it's definitely changing. And what are we going to do? I personally have two listings. One's been on almost two weeks. One's been 73 days and they're not sold. So mm. am I a good realtor or am I not? What am mm. I doing? Right? This is, I got to prove my value. So mm -hmm. I think we have to keep adjusting. I'm going to sell those houses and I'm working a lot harder. Yeah. I liked it in the weekend and triple offers, right? Mm -hmm. Multiple offers. Mm -hmm. But I think we have to go back and ask those questions. How, like uh, Marissa mentioned it prior to us coming on air, is keep working your business. I think it was easy to think this was kind of the gravy train, right? And, mm -hmm. and things are a little different for us right now. What's mm -hmm. anybody else seeing out there? Well, go ahead. I think the market's resetting. I really do. I think it's resetting. And it, it's about going, you know, working with it. Because uh, we all know real estate's an ever-changing market. It can yeah. be different from week to week. It, it's a holiday week. Your showings might be slower this week, but next week it, it, they'll probably pick back up again. Um, but it is, I think the market's resetting a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. I mean, for, I, for, me, for me, it's kind of interesting because you know I, I love to get on the phone in the morning. And again, that's just part of that normal ritual that if we're not working on our business, we're working in the business, I'd rather take that first part of the day and see what I can do about what? Cultivating that appointment for the day. And so if, if there isn't a message that's clear to me in my heart and in my head, it's I need to continue to talk to people every day. Uh, whether I'm talking to them about the weekend plan or whether I'm talking to them about real estate, it really shouldn't matter. You're just connecting. And again, that's where, as, as you've all said so, so nicely, it, it, it's about having those daily connections with people, um, talking about what's going on, whether it's the marketplace or whether it's a great, beautiful July 4th weekend that we're all going to experience, something like that. So again, the grind for me is, stay in the moment, keep doing the same things day in, day out, because you know, as Kim just said, it's a mindset. It's in there. I just got to continue to keep doing it and keep going forward. So mm -hmm. it's, it's good. 
I like I, I like this. Kim could probably expound on this a little bit, but she shared a video from Ninja and I just looked it up. It was called Becoming a Master of the Phone. And part of being a ninja, and Marissa's a ninja, Kim's a ninja, I'm a ninja, uh, Michelle's a lip ninja. Kim's, are you a ninja? Yes. So she's a ninja as well. So we've got quite a few ninjas here. So what we know that connecting is a big piece of being a ninja. And so Ninja did become, uh, they, they did a live stream on June 28th. It was called Becoming a Master of the Phone. And Kim can probably talk a little bit about that. And then maybe we should drop that into this link because connecting begins with this device that we usually have with us at all times. And connecting can look different for every person. But um, what, what say you, Kim? So um, it's simply that, and I might just call on Michelle for a minute because we had this conversation a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? She said, Kim, I'm having a hard time making those 50 calls a week. I said, well, Michelle, what are you, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? And then we start talking about, she is having probably 50 conversations. She just wasn't doing it by the phone. Mm. So it, tell, tell me about that, Michelle. What did you discover from that? Because you're one of the most connecting people I know. You have no fear. She loves people. She loves to talk to people. She has a whole bunch of hobbies. So what did that, we talked about that video and I sent it to you, right? And what did you learn just from taking that pressure off of yourself? Maybe it's not 50 calls, but you are connecting every single day. Yeah, it was a real clarification for me, just knowing it didn't have to be on the phone. Like this morning, I got my oil changed. As I'm sitting there, I took work with me, of course, and there was a gentleman sitting next to me. And I just said to him, I said, excuse me, sir, do you mind if I make a couple of phone calls? Will I bother you? And he said, no. But as he's sitting there, he's hearing me that I'm, you know, Michelle Lipka with Five Star Real Estate, uh, making these calls. But then at the end, I handed him my business card. I said, you know, sir, if you ever need a realtor, I'd be happy to work with you. And just, I look at every opportunity as some, how I can give someone my business card or even just work real estate into um, our, our meeting. So I want to about, before we let you stop talking, tell us about the popcorn in the grocery oh. store. This is amazing what she does. <laughs> I had some canned koozies made with my logo and five-star real estate. They're bright orange. Um, and then I stuck a bag of Smart Pop popcorn into that canned koozie, tied it up with a ribbon with my business card, and I keep them in my car. And like the other day, I was leaving Myers, and there was a, a mom with three kids walking out with their groceries, and I was unloading mine. I just walked over. I said, would it be okay if you're, I said, I'm a local realtor. Would it be okay if your kids had a bag of popcorn? Oh my gosh, they love it. And the kids were all excited. And so there were three canned koozies and three business cards going into one vehicle. Um, just things I do. Yeah. Very keep, good. Keep, That's keep, awesome. her on, keep her on the phone, Kim, because she, she used the example when we were talking about uh, this and Michelle, this will ring, uh, Bring great in your ears. When we were talking about your pay it forward the other day. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I want I want to do that just once. And I wanted to share with these guys how that works. I mean, how creative is this, right? Well, <laughs> past fall, and I went through a Mr. Quick drive through. I've got my logo and my decal and five star all over the rear window of my SUV. And I went through Mr. Quick and I just I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pay it forward today. So I just, I told the gal, I'm a realtor. I want to pay for the person behind me. Here's my business card. Would you please give it to them when they get their food? She says, absolutely. So I get mine, I drive off. This was last fall. I bank at the local PMC. I go in there because I thought my, my debit card had been compromised. And I'm, so I'm in the little office with the lady. And she says, because she asked for my ID. And she said, do you ever go to Mr. Quick? And I said, well, yeah, once in a while, you know, why? She says, you paid it forward one day and I was your recipient. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. nice. And That's you know, cool. I'm going to be buying a house and you're going to be my realtor. And she asked me for another card. She said, I have your card at home, but I want one here. I mean, what are the odds? I should go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. For all of us. Uh, thanks. <laughs> 
However, yeah. I'm always looking, I know that my wheels are always turning. Um, I'm always looking for opportunity to work real estate into um, a meeting with someone. Yeah. Well, and you're, you're, you are the perfect example of, uh, here we go, ever-changing market. How do we do, how do we go the extra mile? How do we, how do we do what, how do we become Michelle and kind of think outside the box? Some of the things that all fear aside, right? I mean, you just, you just go out there and do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Kim, Kim is a ninja. Do you have any stories that you want to share with? I think, I think it's encouraging for the agent community to hear from, you know, their peers, from people that you're working with and, just it's just I know every time I talk to Michelle I'm inspired because this woman just she just is always thinking. No fear. And doing. No fear. No How about fear. you, Kim? Anything that you're doing right now to to stay showing up, paying it forward, keeping your business going um, during this shift? Yeah, well, I've been very concerned for sure. So yes, I have. You know, I'll be honest. I've always had a tough time doing the 50 calls, and I haven't always done it. And but since we just went through Ninja again, I've just kind of you know been re-inspired to get back in there and do that again. So you know what? It's been really nice to touch base with some people that I haven't talked to in a while, and it actually fills me up more that way than. You know, it probably does them. Um, I hate to say it, but I get a lot out of it and I do really enjoy it. And I think if we come, at least for me, if I uh, approach it as um, just wanting to connect and reach out and, you know, just um, just be kind and just make that connection with someone, not hoping for a deal from it, not hoping for something, a result from it, but just putting forth that good intention. Um, you know, I think that will, it, eventually it will come back, but if not, that's okay. I'm still, you know, doing that. Um, and I, you know, I haven't, I don't know that I've seen anything um, right now from it, but I know that I'm sure, you know, it will. Mm -hmm. down the road plus it just makes it just makes me feel better and it makes you know makes me know that okay I am doing things you know for my business the other thing is the reviews so I have started now implementing the reviews I used to do it at the end well in January I used to send out a whole bunch of them in January but now I'm following Ninja more we're just doing two a week instead of you know, a whole bunch. And I've been getting people calling and, you know, wanting to know then, you know, well, what's happening with the market and that kind of thing. So I, I think something will probably, you know, come of that too. Yeah. So keeping busy too is good and, and active and, you know. Well, yeah. And a constant message I'm hearing from this group because we're all our mindset. I mean, we're, we're where we need to be. Right. But we're not waiting for it. We're continuing to yeah. keep moving forward. And, and for for all you know, good practical purposes, that's that's what we need to stay focused on, right? Even through challenging uh, and changing times, my goodness, we can't not change with it. We've got to be able to stay right in there. And uh, again, what I'm hearing from all of you is very inspiring to me because I want to make sure that I'm staying steady and staying true to what I know works in real estate. And if I put my client first, Tracy is always, always you're saying connecting, keeping those connections happening. That's a big piece of what, what this is all about. Yeah. Oh, you know, I do a little story. Um, so a current client that I'm working with, something devastating happened to them last week. They were leaving the house. They, they're a young couple. They have three kids and a dog and uh, they're putting, you know, everybody in the van, they take off for the showings. They get to her mom's house, open up the van door. The dog runs out and gets hit by a car. Oh no. Killed instantly. The kids see it. I mean, it's, you know, traumatizing event. Um, oh. Yeah, just awful. Uh, I felt horrible for them. 
So yesterday we did go under contract on their house over the weekend, which is great because it's a big stress reliever for them. But I found out what their kids like as far as like treats or snacks. So yesterday when I put the pending sign out there, I brought a big bag of all kinds of snacks and treats that they like and a card and some stuffed animals and stuff. And, and they weren't home and I left them on the porch. And then last night I got the nicest message from um, the seller, her, she's like, as a mom, she's like to see my kids. It's the first time they've smiled since this happened and to see their face light up and see them so excited. She says, it means the world to me. So, you know, doing things like that, it, you know, makes a difference. Yeah. We, we were talking about when we were talking about this live stream and, and what to call it and sort of the framework of it, we talked about going the extra mile. And so, Michelle, what you talked about in, in having that billboard on the back of your SUV and then paying it forward and then you going the extra mile, Kim, and just recognizing something, some, some way to give joy to this, to this family. And, and so that, that's what it's about. These are, these are remarkable things. These are things that people remember the way that you touched them, touched their lives and touched the lives of their kids. I mean, that's just huge. And you know, these guys have heard me talk about the power of the $1 lottery ticket mm -hmm. and never underestimate the power of the $1 lottery ticket. The one thing I, th I use it on my one year anniversaries or my, my home anniversaries, whether it's one year or otherwise, but I use them as a way to connect. But Kim, when you were talking about sending out two a week um, requests for um, reviews, um, what a great way to send back a note afterward as a thank you for having them send the review to say, man, I hit the jackpot when you became my client. Thank you for the review and send back a $1 lottery ticket with a note like that. I mean, these are things that people will remember just the way I it love was. when I, I send those lottery tickets out. I always get a note back and I got a note back from a client last week on her three year anniversary saying, I'm so glad I'm not in this market. I'm so glad I didn't have to compete that way. And I'm so glad for my interest rate, you know? And it was just a quick little note, but then it, it allows me to have an exchange that they then initiate, which is great. Mm -hmm. awesome. Man. Hey, we're learning. We're learning, guys. I love it. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what to add to that. It sounds like uh, we've covered a lot. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully our audience is going to take these these things that we uh, that we know work, especially as we start doubting in kind of a changing market. Do we keep doing the same thing? Do we go the extra mile? All of those things that I know we all know what we need to do. This is a perfect time for us to get together with our thoughts and, and just be able to say, look, this stuff works. We just got to continue to do this, right? Yeah. So let's not second guess our, our thoughts. I don't know if you have any, anybody else has any closing things they'd like to share, uh, but I'm, I'm just inspired by listening and learning and continuing to keep doing the same things I'm doing, mm -hmm. working hard. So I, I, I was, I was just going to say, let's watch our email, uh, the marketing team, uh, Mary and Paul and Emma and Kai and, and who am I forgetting? Um, Dave. Dave. Dave, Dave, thank you. Yeah. They're all working on this 30 day challenge, rolling out, putting a nice uh, look to this stuff. And if you're struggling at five star, you know, you have this beautiful broker support team here. You know, we're here to help assist you and guide you and and walk you through the places that feel scary. And, um, you know, we, we want to be here for you. But as as we launch this, pick one of these, you know, these um, these paths, because there's going to be three of them. Pick one and try doing it for 30 days. See what a difference it makes in your life, but in the life of the people around you, because a big piece of it is all going to be connecting. And I think at the end of the day, it can change you big time, but it's mindset. I love it. I love it, man. Thanks, Grace. Kim, any, any parting um, comments for this group? It's all good stuff. We didn't really hit a lot on the Ford calls, but I believe Emma will drop that video back into the link that some of us that we were talking about from Ninja, but it's real easy. Sometimes I get a question from agents that say, I'm not very salesy. I don't, I don't really want to call people. Let me just take that off the table. You don't have to be, don't want to be salesy. The Ford is about friends and family, um, occupation, recreation, and dreams. You're just really tapping in to them. So 
What do you have any vacation plans? It's really about asking questions. And I'm a question asker because that makes it all about the other person. If you're saying, I don't know how to start up a conversation. I'll be really honest. I have invites to go to my family where I can connect with people or I can go hang out with the realtors in South Haven this weekend. So I've decided I'm going to do both, but I'm going to go with the family. The last time I went at Father's Day, I came away with two leads and I'm not, you know, sometimes we don't want to go with family. I love my family, but I'm being intentional about going there. Of course, it's more fun to go hang out with people, the realtors, and but that doesn't do anything for my business, right? So it's just about learning and it's awkward. Sometimes I don't know you. What am I going to talk to you about? So it's thinking about those questions. So where do you, what do you do? Well, do you have any plans for the summer? Oh, your kids play baseball. It really is just getting conversations going and yep. stop thinking about us, but think about them and let the conversations happen and people will be drawn to you, right? And they may never ask about real estate, but sure enough, sitting on the pool step, um, you know, on Father's Day, oh, so you're a realtor. Oh, well, I'm thinking about moving in. My niece just got um, engaged and they want to move. So, um, and he told me, he goes, I know a lot of people, but would you come over and look at my condo? How about you know, those are the things you're looking for. You are looking for buying and selling signals, but like Kim said, that's not what it's about. We're just having conversations. You got it. And so I'm just here to tell you, it is easier to go where it's easy, but sometimes we just, need to go and connect and and it's actually fun i you know i always have a great time it's good to see people that i'm not familiar with and um you know i would say just step out of your box just a little bit and keep talking with people i love it and oh by the way kim your family is fun i can tell you of course they are <laughs> of me. course they are they're your family <laughs> of course <laughs> Hey, Cindy, how's your family? Good people to talk to this weekend? Come on. Hey, yeah. And you know, everyone has family drama. So, hey, it keeps us young, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But I would just tell people, just be your best self, really. Yeah. You know, don't yeah. overthink it. Be yourself. People, people can relate to that. I don't like being salesy either. It's not my style. And um, I'm just me. So... <laughs> Yep. Yeah. And Kim, Kim, Kim Southwick and, and Michelle, thanks for sharing what you did today. Yes. Thank um, you. Yeah. Th I think these opportunities are great from, for us to hear from you guys too. And, mm -hmm. and I think that Marissa would have liked to have had some things today to say, but I think she's got some screaming kid. Well, here she is. She's had she's a crying baby. Now. He's asleep. She's asleep now. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to give my final words because she just <laughs> um, I just wanted to piggyback on what Kim and Cindy have said. Uh, don't be a secret agent. I always tell people that, right? right we right. don't have to show up and be anyone else other than ourselves, but you have to show up. You have to. Yep. So yep. that that's my that's my biggest takeaway and my encouragement for you all. Man, I love it. I love it. Well, hey, you guys, we've taken up a lot of your time. This is kind of, we're approaching thirty minutes, so we wanted to just end this session by wishing everybody a great holiday weekend. And yes. Let's get into some conversations this weekend, people. I feel them coming, right? So, yes, awesome. Uh, I'm going to Kim's. There. <laughs> Which <laughs> Kim? Mine or her? You want to go to my family? Or yeah, I'm going to your family. <laughs> All right, we're close by. We're not too but far. We want to go to the, the fun family, right? The fun <laughs> yeah. family. Fun family. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, we'll let you go. And again, thanks for tuning in today. Again, get ready for the next pep talk because it's coming. So uh, enjoy the holiday weekend. And again, appreciate you taking time out of your day to be with us. All so, right. All right. See you, everybody. Everybody. Bye. Bye. See you.